In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Good morning, my dear young people, and welcome to this morning worship. We are glad to see you this morning in front of the Eucharistic Lord to get the blessings and receive His abundant mercy and facing the world. We all of us every day get up from our bed with lots of work, Lord, with dreams, aspirations. To fulfill that, we need God's graces upon each one of us. And we all of us, my dear friends, have chosen the right path of coming this morning, listening to the word of God, getting God's blessing and going to face or achieve the dreams with which we got up from our bed. My dear friends, let's welcome such a wonderful God who is ready to give His blessings for us, who is ready to help us, who is ready to assist us, who is ready to heal the wounds that we have. We pray that this day may be blessed. Your dreams may come true. The work that you are undertaking may be a successful one. We pray for all of these intentions. And request all those who are able to kneel down or make comfortable yourself and then welcome the Eucharistic Lord amidst us. I need you more, more than yesterday. My dear young people, today's word of God that is to enter into your heart is Psalm 37 verses 11. 
Psalm 37 verses 11 which says the meek shall inherit the land and the delight themselves in abundant prosperity meekness the humility therefore we have coined the word for all of us today is meekness is not weakness meekness is not weakness most of the time we tend to behave or initiate or push forward the ego that we have but humbling ourselves in front of somebody is not a weakness but it is a sign of meekness humility such a person will claim the ladder of success it's not always that we need to prove ourselves that we are right we are learned we know everything but we can learn to listen adopt adjust and clarify discuss the matters gain more and more knowledge humbling ourselves in front of others is a sign of meekness it's a quality that must premature our entire personality our personality has to be put on with this virtue of humility there's a small story told of a doctor who was taking a walk in a beach there were so many people in the beach all of them were taking rest playing and relaxing there was a girl who was walking in the water and then got sink into the water people jumped into the water bring her back and there was a doctor who rushed to the girl laid her down and trying to do cpr for her the first trait that they can do it to a patient but from far he heard the sound stop move everybody i am a doctor what you all will know about this cpr test i am coming forward so a doctor came and did the cpr for that girl after a few hours this doctor who did the cpr became unconscious that the girl became all right after some time he woke up and so when he came to conscience he saw he was in the hospital beside him was this old man who was trying to do cpr for that girl he asked that man that old man how is that that you were able to do the cpr for me when i was an unconscious man he said i am also doctor i also was trying to do the cpr what you were trying to do th that girl but since you said that you were a doctor you want to do others do not know i just kept quiet what we have studied the quality the work that we have the qualification we have need not be known or pub made publicity what we do is a matter this old man humbled himself in front of the doctor my dear friends we are not here to prove ourselves who is greater than whom we tend to play the role that we all know we need to trust each other we play that know it all who in a you know we we play a role that i know the things when we are in a group the humble person will not play such a role we know we have a beautiful example of today saints in trace of child jesus when she joined the convent when she was aspiring to become a nun when she was beginning to do the little assignments that was given to her she was slow she was adjusting herself because she came from a family where she was youngest one and could not she didn't do any work at home but here in the convent she was trying to do little bit of assignment that was entrusted to her but she was slow the mistress used to ask her inquire why you are so slow etc but she did not respond to them in a very any in a very harsh way she did not tell that i am the youngest one i did not do any work at home etc but she humbled himself she began to learn the things though she did not know certain things she began to learn humble herself and you know today church celebrates her as a saint these 
these are the characters my dear friends that me first we are in a world we say me first we are in a world of me first that in a group me first i am the one i am the first these are the feelings that we have this is the world where we are in living in saint trace of child jesus is an example who exempted from you we heard it from the scripture we know so many characters in the bible who humbled themselves we have mother mary who in front of god humbled herself therefore my dear friends knowing the fact that we are in the world me first the relying on god's help is a greater thing humbling ourselves in front of god the creator is what we need to do when we do that god will exalt god will raise us up god will bring our dreams and aspiration up and he will show you the ladder to claim on which that we all of us are dreaming as a success one we need to humble humble before god though we are knowledgeable though you are talented though you know everything though do you possess everything humble ourselves all these things are giving given as a sign of blessings we need to remember we need to be grateful to the blessings that we have received from god therefore my dear friends as we begin this day let this day be blessed by god's message let this word of meekness may ring in our hearts and minds if we if we are humble enough in front of god he will bless us with the four gifts that a key he will give a key for every problem a light for every shadow a plan for every tomorrow and joy for every sorrow these are the four gifts that we can receive when we humble ourselves in front of god come my dear friends receive his blessings and go to the world where the world says to me first let you say god first kneel down and receive god's blessings my dear friends time for homework we all of us cultivate a habit but we as a children of god through this youtube channel we are cultivating a habit of reading a word of god for a day a word for a day in that way today's word for you is first peter chapter 5 verses 5 to 7 first peter chapter 5 verses 5 to 7 
the humility is or should become a one of our virtue the habit if we put on a personality will change if we put on the virtue of this humility you will attract so many people towards you with this little message don't forget that me first is not what world is proposing but god is first meekness is not weakness remember let this day be blessed we are praying for you we are praying for all your intentions we pray that you may face the world we pray that the word of god may strengthen you we pray that this word of god may help you the word of god that you have heard today may encourage you to put on the virtue of humility in the name of jesus we bless you have a wonderful day god bless you